Uh, hey, everybody. I believe that we are live. Welcome to TV and D. This is our television role playing show. I am your host, Brian. Uh, I am your game master here with my co hosts, Carolyn Page, Eli Uden, and Tony Wilson. What's up, guys? I'm here on the show. You came That's... out so hot with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling the truth. It was like the guy That's on Jeopardy who rings in right away and then doesn't know. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Eli Uden. I'm also here. I'm Carolyn Page, and I've literally not left this desk in like 14 hours. This is where I live. This is all my time and my day Karen's is been here. here. Since the last episode, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. leave this spot. I just roll over and sleep in that tiny corner of bed. Like <laughs> that's a, your full... like a peasant. Yeah, that's not a corner of Carolyn's bed. That's Carolyn's whole bed. It's a that's my bed. whole bed. It's a triangle shaped bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, real fast, want to shout out Be My Badger, whether or no that's Jamie Drazia, Wizard Dad, Gavin Watches, Goosenberg, uh, Helpful Tony's just Tony, Sunshine Ray, uh, The Ruckus. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out, and thank you, everybody, Alindra. for watching. And thank you to Skirples, Skirples. for gifting Skirples. five subs. Thank you. We uh, really appreciate one, two, that. One, two, three, four, five Skirple subs. That's a deal you can't beat. Um... And also, thank you to everybody (laughs) watching in the future on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking us out. But, uh, Eli, would you like to tell um, our future watchers what they're of the toys they're missing out on uh, by not watching us live? We got all sorts of gadgets here on the live Twitch stream, which you can check out Thursdays at 9.30 ET. I go by Eastern Time. I don't acknowledge the west coast uh Fair enough. <laughs> but we've got if you want to sub if you like if you were just received a sub from skirples you get access to our emotes there is a a, a couple different funny faces from each of us there's also there's a blur. Chat, i think the chat's showing everyone oh, right yeah. now demonstrate demonstrate and then uh there's also a blurp where you can use bits to play different sound effects um that only eli can hear that only I can hear. It's true. Well, um, you, well you can hear them if yeah. you're buying them. And you'll hear them on YouTube, but know that only I can hear them here. It's a complicated wiring situation. You know, it's like an old switchboard. <laughs> um, I'm the only one plugged into the sound effect thing, but I enjoy them very much. So, you know, uh, you'll be giving me joy, which much worth what, however many bits, Bezos bits, Bezos sense, no longer Bezos he stepped down who knows what the fuck is going on i'm not a businessman uh but yeah you can check all that out plus you get to be part of the chat we do polls you can sort of decide what attacks us um there's a good it's a good time good time to be had by all uh hell yeah uh okay so we are in the second week of our march muppets campaign uh the first one was a lot of fun but if you missed it don't worry these adventures are all pretty self-contained. Uh, so, how about we start with some character introductions? Hey, Tony, who are you playing? Um, I'm playing Kermit the Frog. Uh, I am a frog. Um, my name is Kermit. You were also on... The, Kermit was on The Masked Singer this week? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I only saw the reveal. I have no idea what... Yeah. That's the most... Which doesn't make sense. Because um, that means that the I puppeteer love... was on The Masked Singer. Because if he didn't sing, if he wanted to be Kermit, he would have to be singing in Kermit voice. You know, you can't. You're like, look, Kermit's I got a lot of problems real with this. If you let Kermit be real, I and will if you not want to knock him down and destroy the fun and the magic of the Jim Henson company. I'm gonna kill then, him. Um, I'm gonna chop him in half. I, I had I had the same reaction. My wife woke me up this morning to say Kermit Bye-bye. was on the mass singer. I'm like, I have questions. <laughs> it's not the most stunning reveal on that series of shows. Everyone least complains it about how like Goofy has a dog, you know, but like yeah, Kermit uh, as one puppet emerging from another puppet is is really Whoa. it's it's uh, yeah wow it's, it's like feeding a chicken there. feeding a chicken some scrambled eggs or something it's yeah, fucked right. up. It's um, like, I, that's real army that. hammer shit. Am I right? way oh. I'm not, I'm not going to pass up another chance to plug real fast. We talked about that a little bit this morning on our Discord, which you can find a link to uh, down below. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Hey, Eli, who are you playing? I am playing, uh, 
I'm playing Pepe, he's the King Prong. Uh, not a shrimp. Not a shrimp, I'm a King Prong, okay. Uh, he's a li- delightful little fellow with many arms. Um, he loves to be the center of attention, loves to be a, born to be a star. Uh, m- many arms, I mentioned that already. Uh, so yeah, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be chopping it up as Pepe the King Prawn for you. <laughs> Uh, wonderful. Uh, Carolyn, you have changed characters. Who are you uh, playing this week? Oh, Kirby. Oh, God. Oh, no. I miss, I miss Piggy this week. Oh, Kirby. And I miss Pig. I'm, I'm a relieved to see pig. that it hasn't improved since that voice sample that you yeah. I'm... Boy, I tell you, if I wasn't broadcasting this, I sure would mute that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a warrior pig, and I love Kermy and feather boas and stuff. I have blonde hair. This is the most <laughs> convincing impression of someone pretending to be Miss Piggy I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, oh boy, that's a rough one, dude. <laughs> Kermy. All day I've just been sl- muttering to myself in between the emails and bullshit. Just being, oh, Kermy. Kermy. <laughs> Trying to get it, but it's it's not happening. Okay, yeah. I'm a I'm a woman pretending to do a man's voice who's pretending to do a woman's voice, and it seems like a woman it's like your own big, Kermit big voice, Kermit puppet. Oh, who's a, also a pig, a female yeah. pig? Yeah. Uh, spooky Kabuki, thank you for the bits. Yeah, 100 um, bits and a cute little <laughs> fox. <clears throat> oh. Uh okay. Yeah, everybody. your voice is gonna hurt a lot. I agree with Chad. <laughs> Fuck that you, sounds... Eli. Don't tell me what my voice can do. Well, how about I talk like this for the whole show? That sounds Would less you like uncomfortable. That it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are now just discussing Army Hammer's family. Yeah, he's from the Arm and Hammer fortune. Like he of course their whole family's weird. But I just want to say for the record, Muppets. he always raised my hackles. Sometimes you get you're around someone you're like they raise my hackles. He raised the shit out of my hackles, and I always thought it was crazy that no one called out his voices. Are his name is Army Hammer? That's crazy. It's a yeah. crazy name. Mm-hmm. Okay, raised let's go on with hackles. Right, hackles. 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 My hackles. my my hackles. You love cats. How do you not know about hackles? That's what cats do. It. When your cat gets is. scared, it's raising its hackle. All I know is that I have some of Army Hammer's granddaddy's cat Ashes? Stand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They could be. That's what it's made out of. It's in a 25-pound box. All right, yeah. gang. Stuff. I Knock have to the stop order. the Army Hammer talk, and mm-hmm. I have to bring this into a world we all need of to television stop, yeah. fantasy role-playing. It's Hammer um, time. <laughs> it is not Hammer time. It's, it's not time. hammer time. It is not hammer time. It is time to uh, make the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to meet the Muppets on the Muppet Show tonight. Fuck you, I nailed that. <laughs> you really did. Um, okay, so we Definitely are... Brian said 15 words. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so what uh, I need everyone to imagine is we are in the middle of our uh, catch-all city, which is our our, uh, fantasy television and dragons universe, where the Muppet Theater also exists, and we are in the middle of a very chaotic Muppet show. Kermit, you are backstage right now trying to keep the show together. Um, The big act that you, that everyone is preparing for is Gonzo the Great is going to tame a live manticore live on stage. Uh, of course, the live manticore is actually Fozzie Bear in a manticore outfit, um, and he was pitching you earlier, like Kermit. What if the what if the manticore told jokes? How huh? waka waka. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, <Dad. laughs> Uh, he said the words (laughs) (laughs) he said the words uh however the uh the show is beginning to run long like you got you've been building up to this like main event uh the show is like running over and you're gonna have to cut one of the acts uh the a couple of the remaining acts are miss piggy has something 
and Pepe the King Prawn has something mm-hmm. planned. Uh, uh, Pepe, could you let me know what act you have planned for tonight? Yeah, I was going to, um, as everyone knows from the lore, uh, Pepe was a chef before he was became drawn to the studio lights, the, the silver screen. So uh, I'm going to be juggling cleavers, um, meat cleavers, and doing some... Uh, also making a asabuco at the same time. Oh wow. That's this is a, this is a really big chance for you to like demonstrate what you yeah. can do on stage. Yeah. And I'm like um, I'm like I could get a juggling show, I could get a cooking show. <laughs> lots of lots of chances for a big break here. <laughs> uh Miss Piggy, what are you planning for tonight? I'm going to bring oh. my improv troupe. It's just me. I'm going to do a run room in long form improv show. <laughs> that doesn't even need to be Miss Piggy for me to say no to that. <laughs> just immediate. Uh, and if I, I, this is, it's going to be great, of course, because it'll be me the whole time. Oh, God. <laughs> um, in the world of Catch All City, uh, the pit recently closed, and uh, the pit. <laughs> Was a pit that they would throw improvisers into. That's Pretty much, yes. So they got so too now, <laughs> now it's like legal to be an improviser in Kesha. Mm-hmm. It got that too is... full. The pit got too full. <laughs> it was that, too that full. Is... I mean, yeah. They just Again, started climbing accurate. out on top of each other, climbing over each other for success. New York improv joke. <laughs> yeah. Um... Just think UCB if you're, you know, the broader one, also went out of business. A lot of stuff going out of business. Improv. Not the greatest turns business Turns out the plan. bubble has popped. It turns <laughs> Never out. a great moneymaker. I stopped doing improv when I stopped working for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so, uh, hey, Dane, can we get a poll up in the chat? Uh, Kermit has to cut one of these acts. Uh, and you guys get to decide. Uh, no, no, Draz, you can't vote brisket. That's simply, that's simply nonsensical. It's Brisket's not even not an option. It. It's not involved. Well, brisket I mean, is the closest. Brisket. If, I guess if you don't want to see any brisket this episode, we can cut I said it. asabuco. Okay, yeah, fair enough. It's not <laughs> yeah, brisket, it's asabuco. I'll be cutting lamb. Isn't that asabuco? I think uh, they're afraid to cut Miss Piggy because of the repreca- repercussions for her and Kermit's relationship. The repercussions? Uh, so that works repercussions. <laughs> uh, man, it is, guys, it is neck and neck. This is the most tense poll. Come on, Hope Pepe, okay? That's pig and pig. You get a spectacle, you get a asabuco, okay? Delicious. You get oh, that's me, true. Miss Piggy. Does Carolyn have to do solo improv if Miss Piggy wins? Because then I'm going to vote for that. Let's I, go. You know, I, I think we'll all figure it out together. But <laughs> I figure, yes. Oh, look at that. Guys, the poll <laughs> ended on a... This is the first time this has ever happened. It ended on a full 50-50 tie. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I feel bad because I did once. I realized that Matt Carolyn had to do solo improv. I voted for Miss Piggy. <laughs> I, I I will say the show has never accounted for this. Kermit, I think it's up to you. Well, um, I, I'm very sorry, Pepe, but uh, as as far as I remember, you're not actually a canonical member of the uh, the Muppet Show, so to speak. Uh, uh, so, so and, wish uh, I was. Kermit, real fast, Kermit, set <laughs> yes. the scene for me as you you oh. axed, uh Pepe. Oh, it's it's backstage, and I'm I'm just saying exactly this. Um, so Thanks, I, I have a bump, well, Miss Piggy standing beside me. I, I I'm sure that she's turning around and doing this kind of move, throwing her head back haughtily as she uh, uh, awaits my decision. And uh, say, so, and uh, and of course, Pepe, uh, you 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 do understand that uh, that uh, that Piggy and I are involved um, romantically, so to speak, and uh, it it might be bad for me to uh, cut her act, and then I do that. <laughs> mouth person first of all it's not a really healthy workplace uh maybe you guys should figure that out i uh, get that cleared but um yeah i mean then i'm not i'm just like i'm, I'm sharpening my cleavers so i'm very intimidating at the same time <laughs> piggy goes you're damn right it'd be bad for you and then tosses pepe to the side like totally yeets him and does the hair flip and then like goes to walk out on stage uh or like to to the dressing room to get ready for the act and then trips over the meat cleaver off camera and like there's a big like ruckus of clangs and falling uh that said, so Carolyn, can you uh give a, a 
fast forwarding a little while later, can you can you give me a taste of the Miss Piggy improv <clears throat> app? Yeah, do you need a suggestion? Can I get hello, good night, good day, evening, everyone. Can I get a one word suggestion from the audience? Still we need it from the chat. <laughs> no, I it's heard I heard uh, <laughs> I just want to make this accurate. I heard dildos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everyone is saying brisket in the chat, which is the equivalent of dildos on this show. <laughs> it is. Uh, and also, it means something entirely different to Miss Piggy, who is a pig. Although, I guess brisket? brisket yeah, that's fucked up. That's like shouting out Holocaust. Like, that's not, would be not cool. It's human do. meat. Human meat. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, new suggestion. Uh, Human meat. <laughs> oh, I'm at the diner. Oh, a check, please. Oh, let me take this meal to go. Uh, oh, that's not my meal to go. Uh oh, the UCB4 meat. just walked in. <laughs> oh, Matt Besser, I hear you're a terrible person. <laughs> Amy Poehler, everyone likes because she's famous. Uh, and then so, the guy who is on the Veep also is good. The other Matt or something. Wow. Ah, Pinky! <laughs> so while uh, this is happening, and... Kermit made a terrible choice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we knew that. I'm pra uh, I'm Pepe's just like practicing backstage anyways, and it's incredible. It's Kermit really goes good. up to Pepe after Pepe like concludes his thing, and he just kind of puts a little frog paw on his shoulder, flipper, frog hand. Yeah, I don't know. And just kind of like hangs his head and just kind of goes, yeah. Um, you Dane, had it down could, and you squandered it, okay. Dane, could you throw a poll up for me determining whether uh, Miss Piggy, like the audience is loving it or booing incredibly loudly? <laughs> They're loving it. Uh, also, uh, well, that'll Matt be Besser. up in the chat. <laughs> Does Car do this is an outside of the game question? But does Kermit like Miss Piggy? Like, do they have? He loves her very much. It's it's a mutual thing, right? He's just likes. He's just like a sub like that. Everyone's time. booing. I mean, the blurp is booing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think. If anything, people are probably worried about Kermit. Um, it doesn't seem like a great relationship for him. Um, but he's definitely part of it. Um, so uh, while, while uh, Piggy's improv, solo improv set is going on, Kermit, you're backstage um, kind of just like filing through. You, you've got uh, the run of show uh, spread out before you on your desk. Uh, Scooter comes in from the left frame, Gonzo from the right. And um, all right, Kermit, let's, uh, let's go down the checklist for the big Manticore act. Which, if you remember, Gonzo is going to be taming a manticore, which is Fonzie or Fo Fozzy, not Fonzie. Hey, uh, hey, Fonzo. Yeah. Fonzo. Uh, in and out. Happy uh, days, TV and D win. <laughs> so, uh, Scooter is like reading down the list. We've got Gonzo. We've got a jacket. We've got a chair for the taming. We've got a whip, and we've got a real live manticore captured from the mountains. To which Gonzo immediately just like, "What?" I saw this coming. 100%. Um, Scooter. Um, first of all, uh, how's that order of um binders coming? Um, uh, because uh, I could really use a a binder to put all these papers in that you uh, have spread out all over this table, which is a a little weird way to uh go over our show notes. Uh, secondly, um, I, I believe we were using Fozzie Bear as a as a manticore, if I if I recall correctly. Um, maybe we got our wires a little crossed here, but um, it seems uh, maybe like not uh, the best idea to have a real life manticore inside our crowded theater, uh, which we are fully liable uh, for the health and safety of our uh, patrons. Uh, um. Pepe is burning all of the binders in a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, is that he's like Kermit extended this olive branch, but Pepe ab like he acted like he accepted it, but absolutely is furious and will hold this. And he just he's like, "You get what you deserve, okay?" And then he runs away. <laughs> um, 
so uh it's so, like as uh uh scooter is like um well he's uh every the audience is booing piggy like throwing tomatoes and garbage like fozzy has gotten better reception than uh this act currently uh but the manticore which is an, uh if you're not familiar with the uh dungeons and dragon monster the manticore it's sort of a lion with a human face uh that has wings and a scorpion tail it's a real mess um if you've but never it, read many waters by madeline lango then the wrinkle and time not. lady yeah mm. uh is that one of them the, this is yeah. not something we'll talk about this afterwards. Okay. <laughs> New show. Talk about uh, what Madeline Lingle wrote. Sorry. Good. The Manticore is already being wheeled onto the stage, Kermit, before you can uh like object. And the booze immediately like silence and everyone uh begins to go absolutely crazy that a real live manticore is being pushed out onto the stage. This could turn the show around. Well, maybe this can um, turn the show around. I do. Pepe puts two of his arms on Kermit's shoulder. He's like, this might be good. It's <laughs> like, this is the first Miss good thing you've put on. <laughs> Miss Piggy is pissed as yeah. fuck. She's stress eating like crazy. She's stress eating all the ashes of the binders that Pepe was burning just because she's so pissed. Yeah. Maybe they're um, leather that's edible. <laughs> so uh the manticore uh, so gonzo is like I, I think i think we get a shot of the muppet stage uh and then from stage left we see gonzo like shoved onto the stage um with his like chair and whip and i'm like um um uh and uh the cage to the manticore is slowly lifted the manticore roars and the audience goes absolutely wild um the monster leaps out of the cage grabs gonzo in its jaws uh to which he lets out a, ah, help! uh it flaps its wings taking flight through the auditorium as the audience <gasps> and then it blasts through the uh side of the auditorium leaving a manticore and screaming gonzo shaped hole in the wall <laughs> flying out above catch-all city that's probably like the gonzo, best that could have gone for gonzo really gonzo the great everyone yay <laughs> what a diva <laughs> i'm just like bravo bravo i'm throwing roses what, and what does the crowd think um that's i guess a, uh dane can we throw that in the chat what how does the crowd react is it uh uh unanimous applause or uh stunned silence either way kermit a terrible monster has just flown away with uh with gonzo and been set free into catch all city when we cut to you what is your reaction uh i turn to piggy and i say you know um you had a maybe not the strongest act but uh at least it wasn't well Yeah, I just kind of like <laughs> that hole and kind of get lost in it, and still kind of contemplating, just doing a little nod as I Piggy. start to walk off. That's so why. Piggy that, looks and that she goes. Papers, <laughs> Piggy looks and she goes. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> also, I want to say for flavor that the the Manticore Act has been there's been posters and everything plastered about town. So yes. if so the whole all of Catch All City like knows that the Manticore Act was happening at the Muppets Theater tonight. So now that it's out, everyone's gonna know if it like causes any destruction that it's the Muppets and specifically Kermit's fault. Yeah. No I, I'm I'm <laughs> Carolyn Beautiful, thank you. I'm I'm running around. I'm put I'm pasting headshots of me over wherever gonzo's face was like he's gone as far as i'm concerned it's pepe now it's all pepe i pried his fucking nameplate off his dressing room it's not pepe's room i filled it with brine i don't know what do i live in <laughs> we uh we cut to kermit and he's uh he's using a tape measure to measure and then he's looking in a big catalog of coffins <laughs> 
Um, so <laughs> whose idea is it that uh, we have to go? Also, uh, everyone loved the act, according to the Twitch poll. Um, full of joy that this uh, obviously planned act has gone down. Oh, I would, I do want to call out Matt Mitchell's very good suggestion that the Manticore has Sweetum's face. Ooh, that's, that's very accurate. Very good. Very good. good. That is good. Uh, so, uh, whose idea is it that like, oh no, we have to like go out into the city and like get this Manticore back and save Gonzo? Definitely not me. For flavor, uh, Carolyn, if you do want to change your tune about how you felt about the act, you can be upset that showed you up. And yeah, I want to go take it down. Yeah, I think I think that that's Piggy's mo. I was thinking the same thing. Like she's like, I will not be upstaged. We gotta go get this. And also, she at the end of the day, like, is not an evil character. She is a bad person, but not an <laughs> evil person, which mm-hmm. is a distinction. Yeah. Um. So something a lot yeah. of people on Twitter could figure out about movies, actually. Oh, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. When you really think about it, it's something to really think about. <laughs> um, so, uh, Piggy, it, it's how do you propose to Kermit? Like, we we gotta, or you know, you're the first. Everyone will probably inevitably come to the conclusion that we have to go get this Manticore back and save Gonzo. But like, how do you approach Kermit? Uh, well, about it, my act was maybe a little too <laughs> so bad. It was a little too advanced <laughs> uh... for everyone tonight. But if the, if the theater gets shut down, they'll never get a chance to see me again. Also, I'm not letting this bitch take over. <laughs> I'm going out to get her. Uh, so I Pepe has not cared at all. He doesn't really care. Gonzo's dead. But he's now heard Miss Piggy <laughs> say that the theater might get shut down. And he's like, do you say the theater is shut down? He's like, Pepe is not allowed to perform anywhere else. Okay. I've been banned. <laughs> oh, or... must have been banned. Right? Think we're here in the <laughs> shithole. Yeah. Let's go. It. But everyone Kermit said Pepe like... is too violent. Okay. Has like a little, doing air quotes with all four arms. Medieval vial that has Ooh. like a skull and crossbones on it. It's clearly some sort of poison that he's about to like sip like the Kermit <laughs> meme with the tea. And then he's like, well, I, I wouldn't want to deprive people of, of, of seeing you, Piggy. Um, maybe they might not be ready for improv, but I'm sure you probably maybe have uh, other talents or acts that they would like to see one day. <laughs> Kermy, you know I do. Now let's go. And as she Good like save. <laughs> flauntingly, as she like flauntingly turns, she knocks the vial out of uh, his hand and it flies across and then smashes on the ground. And then a, a poof of skull and crossbones shaped smoke falls, <laughs> smokes up from it. Um, so I will say real fast, your goal here is to capture, recapture a manticore that has been set loose onto Catch-All City. You Hmm. have all of the resources of the Muppet Theater at your disposal. Is there anything you would like to, maybe if each of you have a scene of anything you can think of that you could find in a uh, theater like this that you would like to bring along on your adventure? Oh, like the anti-manticore cannon. Yeah, the uh, weirdly, you don't, weirdly, that one that's broken. Yeah. Oh no. You you meant to you meant to get <laughs> the repairman oh. out to, re- to Yeah, it's like a fire <laughs> extinguisher. It's been empty for years. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Hmm. I'll, I'll get a cape. Then. That's it. Oh, that's, that seems useful. Good. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe pack two. It's I look fantastic. Um. I mean, the uh, rope for the velvet curtain, and then why not the velvet curtain as well? It could be used as like a net a of cape. some kind. <laughs> or a cape, or a very large cape. Um, so I actually, ha- I've actually thought that exact same thing. So maybe like Piggy and Kermit are both going to like get the red curtain at the same time, and then they have like a, oh, we're on the same page moment. Wait, okay. Yeah. So how does the... <laughs> So the show ends with Gonzo being ripped out of the theater by a uh, a very violent monster. What is the end of the show that ends with Piggy and you've, Kermit coming out to take the... You've certainly <laughs> overestimated our emotional connection to Gonzo is one thing. I was just like, he gone, dude. He's out of here. <laughs> it's um, more of the name, theater's dude. reputation. They think, it's like a, they think it's like the prestige or whatever. They're just clapping. 
you know. Oh right, oh right. <laughs> but I, but uh, Kermit and Piggy certainly know how uh, uh, serious it is. Uh, so how does the show end? Uh, and then uh, turning that into you're going to start your adventure. Piggy's uh, savvy enough. She's she's like. Okay, now for a second round of my improv. <laughs> and then everyone like scampers and totally leaves <laughs> Everyone's the like, oh, we gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> and Stadler then and Waldorf go. look up to the to the hole in the ceiling and then they're like, I, I wish you'd taken me. <laughs> they just want to die at this point. And then one of them says, I've got a hard on. And then the other one says, I've got a hard out. And then they laugh and they start sucking each other off. <laughs> Just back and forth. There's sixty nine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Pepe's also definitely he's he's you realize he's issued VIP passes to people that like aren't real. And so he's telling people he's like, no refunds, okay. There's a very important Pepe on them. (laughs) They have a little picture of his face. There's that you could eat some of the asabuco, it was all fake. Um but I got my cape. I need nothing else. I have my adventuring gear. Um, um maybe a spotlight which could be used as a searchlight because manticores fly in the sky but then we're just going to signal more manticores don't you know how that works tony <laughs> i said a spotlight a searchlight not a manticore batman's <laughs> batman yeah, just goes that. on real just instinct he's like oh they need me you know, it's like a manticore that's the batman of catch all city Sorry. I have to take a bio break. Uh, choose three things you're bringing with you from the Muppet Theater. Oh, okay. <laughs> to catch Why did you schedule a biology class for the middle of a <laughs> Yeah, just go. Broadcast. He's going to go watch one episode of AP Bio on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> and by the time he gets okay. back, <laughs> better have picked. Okay, right. Piggy's going to be, she's going to be kind of like, um, you know flitting through the theater she she like o- opening doors and closets she opens a door of like medieval uh weapons like maces and stuff which is like no and then uh goes through there's a there's like a room full of ropes and that she's like no and then she looks in the closet uh of her dressing room and she's got like a flowing silk and feathered robe and like two extremely high heels and she's like yes and those are her three things that she's bringing yeah, right. is it three things each? Brian didn't yeah. answer. Okay, I'm here's my three things. I'm just, first is a cape. I'm expanding on this. I found there's an old production of the Phantom of the Opera, and Pepe is just wearing the outfit from the Phantom of the Opera. So it's a mask and a cape, and then does he have a like a not a staff, like a cane, right? The yeah. Phantom. Yeah, well, I don't think he has a cane. I, I don't know. I know he's got some. Maybe think of the hunchback. Maybe I'm combining him with the hunchback. Of I don't Dame. think either of those guys have a cane. So I have. A, then I have spats. That's my third thing. All That's right. Fine. And I'm like the Phantom of the Opera. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you're seeing uh, Brian Carolyn's glammed out. Eli. Oh has... yeah. Do we want to say our three things? Tony, did you choose yet? I was I was gonna catch him up, but you guys can catch him up, and then I'll I'll say my three things. I wanted to disappoint right. Brian myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so okay. I have um I I have a long flowing silk robe that I'm wearing that's very nice and fancy, and two high heels, and those are my three things. Nice. I have um right. a cape, <laughs> and then I have the mask from um the Phantom of the Opera, <laughs> and then I have spats. From the costume for the Phantom of the Opera. Eli and I both went with just costumes. <laughs> just three things. Nothing useful to fight a manticore. Just yeah. costumes. Uh, I guess it's up to Kermit. Right. Um, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll take some netting. I imagine that we just have netting. Forget the the uh, velvet rope and the the curtain, which will be a pain to say every time. Or we could just <laughs> call it netting. Netting. This, this spotlight, which we could use as a searchlight. Some kind of illumination might be helpful. And then um, I imagine that I've got the spotlight kind of slung over my shoulder and the curtain over me. I kind of look like some sort of um, English hunter from like a hunter's lodge. And then I have um, just animal on a chain as uh, kind of like- Wow, wow. animal's a thing. Oh, okay. Animal. Animal. No, the, the chain is the thing. Animal just happens to be attached to it. I admit wearing my Phantom of the Opera costume and I go, you look ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Like fly I, okay. uh, I think Kermit, like, let's give it some flavor for uh just consistency is like 
um, calling everyone together, just being like, um, okay, everyone, as you know, we've uh, we've lost uh, one of our finest uh, out the, uh, well, maybe not our finest, we've lost Gonzo uh, with the Man- Manicor at the out the Manicor Sites Hole, and uh, the, the theater's at risk of closing unless we all go to search uh, him. So uh, I'm gonna need everyone to gather up, or we're gonna. Um, th- th- there is there is no uh, overtime here, and I like the second that I say that we can't afford overtime. I think everyone just dissipates and uh, <laughs> the crew and disappears. Uh, yeah, just Piggy yes. and uh, Piggy and Peppy, Pepe, 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 Pepe. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm also telling everyone to do a barrel roll. Those are my two things. Just do a barrel roll, okay? <laughs> it's me, Pepe. Yeah, so Kermit announces like, "Oh, we're gonna look," and like, boom! You just hear the shuttering of doors. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So Kermit, you're looking out before you, uh, and and, in the only people remaining are Piggy and Pepe. Do you have one final word of wisdom before setting out? Oh, I'm sorry. You asked me. Sorry, I was just laughing to something. (laughs) <laughs> which is that which is that piggy and uh and pepe were also gonna bolt and that their items their their costumes are just what they were trying to steal from the theater as they were like <laughs> yeah, yeah. my look <laughs> and i'm like like wow I'm, I'm really happy that the two of you stayed to uh to to help you uh to to find gonzo and and, and man a poor thing to bed while uh, kermit's talking i met like a bank of levers and I'm fully into the Phantom of the Opera thing, and I'm just trying to get Kermit with a trap door. But I don't know where the trap doors are, so I'm like, right, 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 chunk. And it just like. A trap door opens on the stage. But oh! That's. Fuck! They, somebody falls into it, one of the generic yeah. ones. Like, no! Yeah, no, it falls I'm like, Kermit, scoot over, okay? Get in there. It, uh. It does a a very like Muppet Show like always framed chest high shot where Kermit is clearly just dodging things out of frame that you can't hear like totally. Yeah. I'm slamming the levers I look like fucking Eggman over there. There's like trapdoors <laughs> opening everywhere, but I can't catch them. Eli, no. you should be Eggman for uh, Halloween or something. That'd be a good costume. Oh my god, Tr- trying to explain Eggman to somebody at a party is. I mean, that would just devastate me. <laughs> Try and top Brian's Eggman is the real. Oh, oh that's yeah, true. that's true. We that was that on a different on a different thing. Yeah, why not relevant to this? Legally distinct from this right show. Now, on Halloween, we'll get together. We'll all be Eggmans together. Okay. You, that's you a- there in the chat, you be Eggmans too. We'll be a Guys. whole carton of Eggmans. Guys. <gasps> okay, here's the thing. This is for real. There are seventy people in the chat right now. We are all going to be Eggmans for yes, Halloween. Yes, done, yeah. done. There's a verbal contract. Unless you, unless you negate it with the end user license agreement in the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, you're in it. I'm seeing it. Everyone say done. Also, if you're we'll watching this later on YouTube, you. yeah. you're going to be Eggman for Halloween. Yeah, if you're yeah. watching this on YouTube and uh, you know tapping your arrow key to skip five seconds ahead, you didn't get lost. It's, <laughs> we went on a tangent here. We're still on Eggman. <laughs> yeah. Brian, continue, please. Uh, okay, so you uh, you take your gear and you step out Ooh. onto the streets of Catch-All City. Uh, we have a map here. Um, you, of course, are in the theater district, which is, you all know where it is on the map. We've, of course, talked about it uh, extensively. Um, uh, everybody knows exactly where we are. Uh, but um, so there, the Manticore has left a trail of destruction. There are fires burning from rooftops, uh, all leading well outside of the theater district. Uh, so you guys are going to have to start following that if you want to find uh both the monster and gonzo i i do just need to call out my favorite comment that i think that we've ever had on this show <laughs> which is sunshine ray just being like i'm not doing that <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you gotta just bow out you know it's fine i mean brave. Um, we got good lawyers i mean <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, like, if you just want to admit to being a coward right here on screen. <laughs> I think Kermit uh, looks to Animal blissfully unaware of the trail of destruction and says, okay, Animal, which way? And, like, holds Gonzo's chicken up for Animal to, like, sniff it to, to get direct. I'm, like, connecting with Animal as Pepe being, like, 
you shouldn't be on a chain. <laughs> We're all animals. Animal. <laughs> yeah. No, animal likes it. That's part of animals. He wears a it. collar, but that I've I've met people who wear collars. They'd be pretty mad if I put him on a leash. It's consensual. No one's put it on a leash that's not consenting to it here. Animal animal rattles the leash. Animal sting. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm saying, so the problem is I'm looking up. I have two windows open. I have my character sheet and songs from Phantom of the Opera, but I don't know how they go. <laughs> I know how they go. How does the music of the night go? Because that feels right. In sleep he sagged we in dreams he came. That's that song? That's the Phantom of the Opera song. Oh, yeah. No, no. Phantom of the Night goes. Uh, music, music of the night. Of the, goes, the, the music of the night. Yeah, that's what Pepe's doing. Da, da. Like, the yeah. music of the night. Okay. So. Andrew Lloyd Webber sucks. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. So, uh, we make our way through the chaos of Catch All City. Uh, and you have to softly, so, uh, slowly. Da, da. Yes. Thank you, be my badger. I'm softly, sorry, Brian. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh. So. Uh. There's chaos in the streets. Uh, many of Ketchall's districts are like separated by uh, gatehouses along the main roads. And we are going to encounter something there. Uh, chat, is the gatehouse currently flooded with rabbit Muppet fans that uh, these guys have to get through? Or have monsters taken over one of the gatehouses? Uh, poll should be showing up shortly once again. That is, rabid Muppet fans are swarming the gatehouse that these guys have to navigate through, or monsters have taken over the gatehouse. Brian getting By savaged in chat. Fans, can they what be like <laughs> so, Mario everyone's saying rabid. No, I, this MF said rabid. Yeah, rabid. <laughs> fucking heard myself say it too, and I went, it's fine. <laughs> It's fine. No this one heard MF that. said rabbit. Every everyone, no one heard that. I was prepared. Everyone to knew what I meant. I was gonna let it fly, but chat was on it. I absolute guy. I can never fucking win. <laughs> <laughs> Peppy's back. He heard the word rabbit. He's like, well, bear roll. <laughs> um, I thought you just said houses in the middle of the street, not gate houses. And I was city. I was just imagining like you're dropping the. You know, the, the Brady Bunch house in the middle of a road, and that's how you know that you've entered a new. It's like separated by decade or something. Yeah, each oh, neighborhood is fine. a different genre. Gotta stay away from the thriller neighborhood. It's just one million haunted houses. All can you imagine a whole neighborhood where every house is haunted, different? Oh, and God. Vincent Price narrates everything <laughs> that you do. That's yeah. so fun. I love that. That's canon. Somebody fire the canon cannon because that's uh, canon. There, there is a street somewhere in Catch-All City where every single house is haunted. <laughs> every yeah. haunted uh, every There's your Halloween plan. Of a haunted house. Oops, oops, all slashers. <laughs> the Musters and the Adams family live right next door to each other, but they're both the weird family. <laughs> <laughs> they just get along at that point. They're like, hey, we're all in common. Hey, thank you for the uh, Prime subscription, Eldritch Raccoon. Hey, thank way. you. Mm. You might have a Prime sub too. If you have an Amazon Prime subscription, you get a free sub on Twitch, top right. Give us might those be easy bucks. If you're on YouTube, you're on a whole different site. Don't even worry about it. But come by on Thursdays. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. So um, don't be fooled by the skull token I'm throwing. These are just swaths of people. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh no. Uh, who are maybe we can shrink them down a little bit, but basically, um, it's gonna be impossible to get through the gatehouse without interacting with the swarm of people because, like, of course, there are all of these fans of the Muppets are were trying to get into the show because they were excited to see Gonzo in this Manticore act. Um, and you just hear people are like, it! and Miss Pinky, oh my god, I love you, Pepe. Pepe! Yeah, I got the Pepe's a cult guy. He's like, yeah, <laughs> <There's> <laughs> my guy. <laughs> uh, Thank you for the sub, Mage Jonah. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you very much. 
Uh, Miss Piggy is going to, you know that scene in Game of Thrones where at the end of season four or some shit where Daenerys is like in the center of the crowd and the Dothraki are all around her and they're like reaching at her. Mm -hmm. That's that's <laughs> what happens with Miss Piggy. It's that exact recreation of the scene. She just like steps into the crowd and like lets it flow yeah. over her. I climb a lamppost and I'm just like hanging off of it. I feel like that's a fan of the opera thing to do. <laughs> The moon somebody, is behind me. Somebody in the crowd is like, so dramatic. I love it. Yeah. I'm singing uh, to myself. You can't really hear it. It's like, no, 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 Kermit's going to play the killjoy and use that uh, use that spotlight to dissipate the crowd with just blinding light to, oh. uh, to just get everyone to separate for us. Uh, Tony, could you make a roll for me? Roll a d20 plus your skill. Uh, you're going to be rolling versus the crowd's um, ability to handle that. Okay. Which I'm rolling uh, Matt right Mitchell now. subscribed and made a hype train happen. Whoa, Yay! hype train is Whoa. Whoa. Also, Whoa. shout out to Goosenberg who just said, Gonzo's fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's not coming back from this one. <laughs> Gonzo is dead as fuck. Uh, so here's the thing, um, Tony, the Muppets fandom is more than willing to handle a bunch of bright lights. They rolled an 18, and that's what you need to beat. Okay, so this is a very bright light. Um, if I had to grade how bright this light is, numerically, in increments of 1, one through 20, I would say it is a... A 3. <laughs> you got one of the, like... It's not a spotlight. It was like a, I don't know. I'm not a big, or like a fill gel light. I don't fucking know what shit's called. I yeah, like, he forgot to take the gels off. It. I light a candle. Or I, I light a match. I, I light a little tea candle and I put it into this giant device. That you think it's going to amplify it. And make, and I light it and I shut it and it goes completely dark. And I'm like, maybe it's better like this, like this. And then like, it's clear you can only see the light if it's open and you can see the candle. Yeah. It's also it. when suddenly the, the... Pepe jumps up in front of the light <laughs> dramatically as the phantom. <laughs> Somebody said to sing Prima Donna. I only know the one song. So he's just like, Prima sing Donna. for oh, me. Of the stage. Da, da. Yeah. I, either way, the sh Kermit, the light you have shown is enough to call attention. Like there are Muppets over there. And the crowd only grows in size, blocking the, uh, blocking the gatehouse even further. Um, also, thank you, NB Kiss, for the subscription. Yay! Yeah, the hype yeah. train is still you. going. The yeah. hype train means we all get more emotes if people subscribe, which Gavin Watches just did. Holy thank shit! Thank you, Gavin Perfect. Watches. Three month okay. subscription. Also, just wait, just once again, I want to point out that that really does help us keep doing this yes, show, and we appreciate true. it so it much. It does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Thank you, everybody. I just <laughs> want to point out that this giant skull looks like David Bowie. It, it do. Rip. It, it kind of does, yeah. Uh, so the crowd is swarming the streets. The guards at the gatehouse are just like, son of a bitch. Uh, what do you guys do? Thank I you also think to Dwebbles, Dwebbles. For, giving a, for gifting us up. Well, I think the problem here is that both Pepe and Miss Piggy love this shit. We're really enjoying the attention. So I think yeah. this is on so Kermit. Kermit, Kermit, you're going to have to, um, A, disperse this crowd or convince uh, Piggy and Pepe to get uh, on your side here. Ah, I'm just doing poses I, and flipping I'm my cape. Use my hosting ability, and I'm going to convince the crowd that we're going to lead them to more Muppets. Mm. Yeah, at least one or some pieces of one. Uh, also, it looks like we have beat the hype train. We we won. We Whoa. won. Yeah. Yeah. Ability gifted five subs. Yay. Yeah. Ability. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yay. Um, we did cancer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. So Kermit, what is your scene where you can? <laughs> I like that. Uh, what is your scene where you convince? Where you hop up on uh somewhere high and convince this crowd that to to follow you or to cut let you pass and follow uh, you. Well, now that I have everyone's attention, uh, I, I'll try that in the voice. Um, I, I, I play the candle off like it was deliberate. I'm like, well, no, no, now that I have everyone, I'm so excited that you're all fans of the show, and I would like to, uh, I'd like to invite you to join us um, in a meet and greet with all of your other favorite 
uh, Muppet friends uh, somewhere else in the city, wherever um, this trail of uh, terrifying and uh, incriminating and um, liability uh, incurring destruction ends. Um, you should go to Central Perk. Central Perk? <laughs> That's where they are. <laughs> the rest of the Muppets. Thank you, be my badger. They're all hanging out at Thank you, be my badger. They're all hanging out at Central Perk from Friends. It works. The <laughs> mob. Good, That's good, good timing on the mob sound. Yeah, one of the Phantom of the Opera things. He's always like hanging on ropes, right? Isn't that his thing? I really might be mixing up with the Hunchback in Notre Dame. They're pretty no, similar he, in my head. He likes to hang on ropes. Yeah, so I'm swinging around on ropes. You don't know where they're from. I'm just doing my they're theater from thing. From the stage, from the theater. Eli. Yeah, they're theater ropes. They're stage ropes. I'm swinging yeah, along uh, like some sort of fancy Spider-Man. Thanks to Be My Badger for gifting me a sub. Finally, nice. Tony gets a sub. <laughs> I love Banned it. Banned immediately, unfortunately. But No! <laughs> so yeah, Pepe is like... Good, good save on sending them to Central Perk because I, I, like, my brain couldn't think of that. I was like, I guess the... Now... <laughs> It's you guess hard to, what? Yeah, kind I of guess the, all the Muppet fans just have to follow us for the rest of the, <laughs> yeah. the show. I like I couldn't think that, oh, we could just send them somewhere else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Supposing, of course, that works, Brian. Uh yeah, I mean that works for me. Uh so you uh you, what does it look like as you march through the uh this the streets of Catch All City with a mob of Muppets fans following behind you? I'm uh, um, I'm still up on buildings and stuff. Uh, I'm like swinging on my stage ropes, and then that Spider Man, like, because this is Catch All City. Spider Man does like swing by, and I'm like, out of my light, <laughs> out of my light. <laughs> I get him out, and I'm just still Ms. like singing Piggies. opera. Oh, I have no idea what D and D Spider Man looks like, but we'll have to find out at some point. <laughs> just an, it's just a druid, it's just an actual spider. <laughs> it's just a drow, right? Wouldn't he be a drow? Anyways. I, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, yeah, yeah Loleth sworn drow. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, <laughs> Dwebbles, uh, corrected me. Uh, it's a ruckus of Muppets fans. Mm, yes, a ruckus of Muppets fans. Miss Piggy is being supported, uh, by the like kind of crowd surfing on the Muppets fans. Uh, great. So eventually, uh, you were able to follow the trail of destruction, reaching a giant clock tower, uh, in the oh, middle of yeah. this district of Catch All City. Uh, the destruction leads up to it, and you can see, um, the silhouette from behind the clock tower, uh, uh of a giant ferocious manticore, um, uh, and Gonzo quaking in fear. Uh, you just have to climb up all the steps and get up there to rescue him. Pepe is also confused about the Hunchback of Notre Dame versus the Hand of the Opera. It's also a little fuzzy for him, so he's like really trying to ring the bell. <laughs> he, he, he thinks he has. He's like, I'm doing it. <laughs> he's like uh, you are singing made up ground. opera about the Hunchback. <laughs> What's his name? Quasimodo. Oh, Quasimodo, yeah. He's like, it's me, Quasimodo, to ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> he's climbing, he's scaling the side of the clock tower. Miss Piggy just sees the manticore's hair like blowing in the wind and just how dramatic the whole situation is. And she's like, oh, you're so extra. Come down here, bitch. I'm going to fight you. <laughs> It is funny how much Miss Piggy would say bitch if she was allowed to. It would be like so <laughs> central to her. Yeah. Now we beat the hype train. Yay. Yeah. So I'm I'm scaling the this clock tower. Um, where was the manicure? Was it perched on top? It's so uh basically there are these archways that lead onto the top floor of the clock tower. So like you can see the clock, the clock itself is lit. So you can see kind of the silhouette of the manticore against the clock, the clock itself, if that mm. makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to oh, try to... Oh, Spooky Kabuki, thanks for the sub. Thank you. Um, Thank I'm, I'm going to try to, yeah, I think that going up Ring the Bell could like either stun or perhaps enrage the manticore, but why don't I try to find out which one it's going to do? So I'm, I'm still, I'm climbing up with all my arms. Uh, great. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna need you to make a roll for that. Okay. Um, first one of the game. 
<laughs> uh, Kermit, I Kermit roll, roll. Candle. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, Pepe. Uh, let's see here. You don't have a skill for that, so it's just going to be your regular skill. But I'll let you roll with advantage because you have so many arms. Yeah, I have sleight of hands. You know, with all those different hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also have. I don't know if it carried over from last game, but I have the beautiful prawn statue of Legolas. It's not really relevant, but I just want to say you that can't that's You have men carrying that around. It's in my safety deposit box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I think it's going to be plus two uh, with 18. Advantage. I don't need your advantage. I, I don't Pepe. think you do either. <laughs> uh, I'm scuttling up there. <laughs> Pepe, you effortlessly scuttle up the clock tower. The uh, entire crowd is going apeshit like yeah. Pepe. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's me, the hunchback of the opera. <laughs> uh, so Pepe. Yeah, I pass the gargoyles from gargoyles, definitely. <laughs> Hell yeah, I dap up Goliath. What up, dude? Oh my god. Uh, you Four climb minutes. up Good the side of the clock tower, and uh, you can you reach kind of this top floor where the bells are located. Those are those giant yellow circles here. Mm -hmm. uh, the clock tower, the clock itself is up towards the north, uh, and then uh, over here is the manticore with Gonzo, like desperately trying to fight it off. It's like help, help. Does he like actually have the chair and the whip and it's like? <laughs> <laughs> Can I throw a rope down for the throw one of the ropes down for the other people to get up if they need to? Uh, you absolutely can. Uh, anyone who takes the rope can roll with advantage to try and get up. When I throw the rope, I say, <clears throat> "Bronze away!" <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done a hey hey yet. <laughs> uh, Miss Piggy's gonna take the uh, climb up the rope. Real, real lickety split. Uh, wonderful, Miss Piggy. I am looking at your um. Okay, so it's just gonna be your skill plus two. Okay, let's go. Six plus two is eight. Uh, Kermit, how about you make your roll, and then I'll decide what happens to Miss Piggy. Okay, I'm rolling now. That's a seventeen plus two. That's a nineteen. All right, so Kermit, you're making your way up the rope. Uh, however, Miss Piggy's having some trouble. And in fact, the rope is beginning to break. Uh, so she's beneath you. Be very uh, sensitive about suggesting why this rope is breaking. Kermit. It's an old rope, Eli. What's, what's, what's the issue? It's uh, an old rope. <laughs> it must uh, be a really old rope. <laughs> However, the rope is beginning to like twang, twang, twang. Uh, there's twang, like twang. a tag at the end of it. I'm like, it's a new rope. <laughs> it's brand new. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Kermit, Miss Piggy is high enough up that she could fall to her death. I know. Uh, what do you do? Kermit, I think, you know, he's got to save the woman he loves. Says, Piggy, go ahead. You make it. Just remember, I'll always love you. And I like saw... A rope with like a knife that I somehow have between my teeth uh, to drop myself off so that she can continue up with it at enough weight. And uh, it's very dramatic. And then we see that I'm maybe like three feet off the ground and I just like land back. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I like that you do the drama of sawing through the rope instead of just letting go of the rope too. <laughs> Increasing the drama. Frogs have teeth? I didn't want to know that. Frog oh. teeth. Frog teeth. Frog teeth. <laughs> Frog uh, teeth. Oh, that doesn't work very well if only one of us does it at a time. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Frog, uh, Frog teeth. Yeah. Frog, Frog teeth. teeth. Frog, Frog teeth. teeth. I'm, oh, I'm pulling Frog on the. Frog teeth. Frog. I'm pull <laughs> oh, sorry. So I'm, uh, pull I'm pulling on the rope <laughs> that only has Miss Piggy on it now, but I'm still like. I'm like, I'm like, one of you has to let go. I just don't realize I'm only pulling Piggy. Right of us did. <laughs> uh, so you do manage to pull Piggy up. However, Kermit is still on the ground level. Uh, the Manticore, meanwhile, uh, let me see if it is aware that you guys have approached. It is not. Uh, Kermit. Mm-hmm. 
you got to get there, up there somehow. Is there a staircase? There is a staircase, right? You can enter the building and just climb up the staircase. Yeah, can we just like do one. comedic cross cuts with like, yeah, Kermit flailing all the way up the stairs? <laughs> yes, go ahead and make another roll for me. I'm going to roll for the stairs. Can I say for flavor that Kermit, while he's going up the stairs, passes John Wick killing like four people in the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good evening, um, Mr. Wick. And then, like, I, pass, I, I pass him one of the, like those tokens that he has, and he's like, oh, God, I owed you. Uh, what is John Wick? Would he be a barbarian? What no, class would probably John Wick Rogue, be? Right? Paladin, I think, or Rogue right? is a natural assassin. Uh, like, oh, Rogue, had but, the but it's about class. his sense of honor. Um, but, uh, uh, more importantly, John Wick is a movie, but it's so fucking badass it transcends. And <laughs> it's mm. I'm sure that finger. it'll be a show someday. Right. Um, so, uh, Kermit, the stairs are only worth, like, five. So, okay. uh, roll plus your skill. That's a 14 plus my skill, too. That's a 16. Kermit's great at stairs. Oh, yeah. Dogs, natural climbers. Mm -hmm. You're great at stairs. You do have a plus five to jumping. I do have a plus five to jumping too. So let's let's call it a night. Let's go for it. <laughs> and you just li may <laughs> maybe you're beginning to get tired, but you can see the uh, the top of the stairs, and you finally like swell up one final bit of courage and leap to the top. <laughs> All right, I feel I, like he'd have been walking up the stairs like a person, <laughs> and then realize that he's a frog, like halfway through <laughs> and then just be like oh and then <laughs> spring out to the top yeah. all right well once they're all collected i want to i want to try to do my plan of stunning the manticore with the uh, bell because those things are loud we can all agree uh, sure. on that, yeah. right sure yeah. yeah uh great so i'm going to roll the manticore's constitution oh yeah it's pretty loud <gasps> brian and manticore uh, so all I need you to do is make a uh, d20 roll and not fucking whiff, and you're <laughs> yeah. gonna absolutely stun this thing. And Pepe just like it's also just like so echoey, and he's like, "Ring <laughs> for me, okay." <laughs> and then, oh no, I opened a window. Sorry, chat. You can see all all my computers. I didn't whiff that bad. <laughs> I didn't get a one. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do a little damage to the Manticore, but uh, it is not fully as stunned as you had hoped. Pepe, what's your reaction as the Manticore roars, uh, oh. not as taken aback as you hoped? I'm just vibrating from the bell. Like, I was directly <laughs> under it, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little guy. My You're brain feels guy. like it's a popcorn big... shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay, so someone says uh, I want a shirt of this Pepe. That is just copyright infringement. <laughs> That's just yeah. us making a shirt of a Muppet. <laughs> I think we get sued for that. Yeah, man. <laughs> Downsides of this show. Yeah. Um. Okay, so uh, let's see. So Pepe just went. Uh, Carolyn, what do you do? I'm sorry, Miss Piggy, what do you do? Um, Miss Piggy is. Miss Pissy, she's ready to she's ready to fuck up this manticore. <clears throat> on the way up, she lost one of her high heels on the on the climb, so she's gonna kick the other one off and then just kind of do like a like a bull matador thing and like snort and swipe her feet, and then she's just gonna charge and then a uh, karate kick halfway through the air and like fly and try and karate kick the manticore in the eyes oh damn it uh guys. great uh so we're gonna do opposed combat rolls uh it's a <clears> thing <throat> i'm trying because i think it's more exciting uh so the manticore rolls a 21 you uh can roll karate which is one of your skills <clears throat> uh and Beat a 21. Otherwise, uh, the manticore will get to say what happens. <clears throat> okay, everybody pray for me. God, never asked you for anything. Now's the time. Ready? 
go. Woo! Uh, so uh, you won the roll. Thank you. You get to say <laughs> what what happens. Uh, I fly through the air and hi and <laughs> with my little cloven hoof, uh, pop that manticore right in the eye. Oof. Doing uh, however much damage seems fitting to you. The the manticore stumbles back, freeing Gonzo kind of from its grasp. Uh, the manticore stumbles back into the stone wall. Um, the the crowd the crowd below, which can watch via the silhouette being projected to the like yeah, yeah, yeah against yeah. the clock tower, it goes. Oh, this actually <laughs> rules. This is a good ass show. <laughs> like I would be excited to watch people fight in a clock tower. Um, uh, Gonzo looks up at you, uh, Miss Piggy, and is just like, Miss Piggy, I didn't know you cared that much. <laughs> Hurry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, let's see, Kermit, uh, uh, Miss Piggy and Gonzo are currently in melee with the Manticore. They are mm-hmm. in danger of being struck. What do you do? I'm going to try and fire up that spotlight again. I uh I have my lucky match. Uh it's my the last match in the box and I want to try and fire up the big old spotlight one more time. Uh so the hope here is to blind and like stun the manticore. Yeah, I figure we got it in one eye. Let's get that other. One. Great. Uh okay, I'm going to make a roll for the manticore which is only a 10. Um Kermit kisses that match. And then he gives a little strike. Lucky Ooh, match. Yeah, baby. Uh, the manticore raises its paw and lets out a roar as Kermit, your spotlight, blasts into its face. It's I up against light the wall. Light an even littler candle. <laughs> and I put it in, and I shut it, and I like kind of close my eyes, and then like it rattles for a second. A puff of smoke, like nothing is going to happen. And then just like atomic energy shooting like a tunnel straight up. (laughs) It's like pure magnesium. (laughs) Uh, Okay, wonderful. Uh, So the manticore is stunned. You have a chance to try and like capture it if uh, you would like to. Uh, I'm going to say that stun is going to, the manticore won't get a turn. Um, because it's like up against the wall, it's blinded, uh, overwhelmed by what's happened. Uh, Pepe, your yeah. turn's back up. It's just why like, would we want to capture it? Wouldn't we want to kill it? Yeah, I just let right. We're gonna, yeah, let's go. Or is it like a valuable? We're like animal? Gary Busey I bet the pieces in are Predator valuable. too. You, wanna cap- you may, Should've you may remove the first. threat of this manticore, however you like. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And when it gets blinded, I feel like says somebody's just like, I guess the lights are just too bright for some people. <laughs> um, I would like to move over. There's so how do I make the the thing on the map go like beep? Is that helpful? <laughs> like I, I double think click you it. Hold if, you, if you long press down. There you go. Yeah. Ah uh, yes. Like so that. right here, I'd like to Pepe my way over. That's not <laughs> working. Anyways, I'd like to go to where that is. And if you're familiar with from the school grounds of your youth, the tabletop maneuver, I would like to kind of get down on my all f- sixes and prepare f- to set up a tabletop to knock the manticore off the clock tower. I don't know if I'm familiar with the like table. a cow tipping thing. No table like, topping. Uh... Chat help me out here. Table topping before it was banned from my school because it broke their arm is when you. <laughs> would get down, somebody would talk to someone and then somebody would get down on all fours behind them like a tabletop and then the person who's talking to them would push them and they'd fall over and flip over the person behind oh, them. Oh, we called that cow tipping because there was a large uh, feed feed lot and meat packing plant in my town. Oh, yeah. Where they slaughtered cows and the smell on slaughtering days is not good. <laughs> we would peek into the lore of Carolyn. <laughs> <laughs> down the street uh, from the meat pack plant yeah so i'm okay, making myself Pepe. a little le- a little fulcrum to tip this guy over great i'm gonna give the manticore a roll at disadvantage since he's been so like he's screwed up beat to shit yeah yeah uh okay well i'm just setting up for the tabletop i'm not pushing him 
Okay, great. Uh, well, either way, he's got uh, what was it, six, seven, eight that you have to beat to tabletop him appropriately. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what my tabletop proficiency is, but it's 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 just plus two. But uh, uh, Pepe, would you like to describe to me what happens to this? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Very good blurb. Yes. <laughs> Someone's playing like the JoJo, like yes, 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 yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, Pepe, feel free to uh, resolve this situation. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna toss up a, a, a you know a softball for somebody else on the team here because I'm ta- I'm just being the tabletop, so I'm just going and I'm like I'm in position, okay. <laughs> Miss Piggy would like to. She did a kick last time, and she'd like to do a karate chop this time. Okay, great. Uh, a pork chop? A pork uh, chop, exactly. Oh no. That's definitely been used in the show or a movie. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so so based on that, like, that tabletop, uh, the manticore absolutely being wrecked from that, Peggy, you get a free swing. Whatever, whatever you say happens, happens. Ryan is still Jeez. unclear on what a tabletop is. I truly, <laughs> truly am. I know you guys did your best to explain it, and I cannot visualize I'll draw it, it on the map. No, I don't know it's how. It's like when you get in This just means cap. when we get to be in person again, we get you could tabletop easily. Ryan all the time. We could done. Yeah. <laughs> so there's somebody, if somebody's here talking... And then another person's here talking, like how people talk. Somebody sneaks up back here and gets on all fours, and this person gets pushed, and then they're like, oh, I didn't think about my joints when I did this. You know, so they're like, oh, no, and then they fall over. Brian, imagine, imagine that there's a person who's kneeling behind you so that you can't take a step back and instead just fall over the top of them. Mm-hmm. And when then you get pushed. And somebody shoves you, and you just trip because... Imagine that there's a big rock that's behind you. Yeah, or a low fence. Knees, but now that rock is is uh, is a kid named Zach in your sixth grade class, and he's a dickhead. Mm-hmm. And Nick, his buddy, <laughs> shoves you, and real names only, and uh, and you you fall over the top of Zach, and you hit your head really far uh, hard on the asphalt, and then they say, "Ha ha." You fell on the ass and your ass, and it's your fault. That's why they call it ass fall. Mm-hmm. Core prone. <laughs> the manticore is prone. Great. Mm-hmm. Piggy, what do you do? Piggy goes, hey, and then spins around a bunch and like chops, chops the manticore in its throat. Uh, great. Go ahead and roll karate with advantage. Okay. Basically, we go. Don't, basically, don't whip twice. Oh, shit. Don't say that out loud. No. <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I rolled a five both times. <laughs> so that's plus uh, five is ten. But I don't add my skill to that, right? Uh, add your skill. So it's seven total twice. Uh, the manticore is going to roll. So it would be s- 12, 12. 12. Okay. Either way. Okay. So you beat the Manticore either way. Yeah. What does Piggy do to the man? How do you end this Manticore's uh, threat? Piggy just gets really. Cl- she chops the Manticore. It's already down. She can tell it's the light is kind of fading out of its eyes, and then she gets really close. So Kermit and Pepe and Gonzo can't hear. None of the fans can hear. She goes, "Bitch." You think you can take the stage from me? I fucking end you. And then she does, and she she just like does something, makes a swift jerking movement that none of the rest of them can see exactly what happens. And the manticore is dead and its life is is gone from its body. We can get I a moment back here that you were given all this opportunity because of Eli's table topping and you don't even Oh the shit, window. I forgot about that. Oh, and then and then she kills it by snapping his neck, and then she yeets it, pushes it over at Pepe, and it falls and yeah, te- Pepe's also trying to explain the tabletop to everybody. <laughs> Still on all fours next She's to like, an open window. Doing? I don't know what you're doing. I'm like a little um, ottoman. I'm like a little shrimp ottoman. Put you Okay, imagine you're on a playground. <laughs> Behind I you. Prawn ottoman. 
<laughs> as a uh, as piggy as you end this manticore's life we of course like zoom into its little plastic marble eyes because it has like what sweetums face um we all right zoom, Oops. we zoom <laughs> into its little plastic eyes as we see a little baby manticore rolling through the snow with the mountains uh with his little manticore family being tricked by hunters into a cage they tabletopped it (laughs) (laughs) the hunters tabletop the hunters perfectly execute a tabletop a flawless tabletop to get it into the cage Trapped in a cage, carted down from the mountain, uh, into Catch All City, where it is forced into a life of circusry. Uh, and then it is brought to the Muppet Show, where it finally escapes. Probably hallucinating. <laughs> Probably nothing. Yes. I'm gonna and go. It, I'm gonna go Westworld it, on that one. Uh, and then like in the to middle, me. it ate a ton of children and families. Yeah. Like it before, it, it, yeah. It, it, Splats on the ground, and the crowd is like, "Yeah, fuck that manticore." <laughs> mm-hmm. Kermit, uh, having been partially blinded by the light because it's so bright, like rubs his eyes and sees that the manticore is gone, and he's like, oh, "Wow, you guys scared it off! Way to go!" <laughs> we sure did, Kermit. Let's go home. <laughs> Thank you guys for saving me. Gonzo I think I think was... Gonzo probably thinks he did it or something. Credit. Um, Thank you guys for coming up here, but I managed to save myself. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's return to the Muppet Theater. You have, of course, celebrated as heroes who viciously killed a manticore. Um, what are what's everybody's final shots? I'm um, cooking Kermit. up the manticore meat for the fans. <laughs> Pepe's shack. Pepe's what's the one from Forrest Gump? <laughs> Bubba, Bubba gum, Bubba yeah. gum shrimp. Yeah, I'm making I'm making prawn, pop popcorn manicure for everybody. <laughs> uh, Kermit is is back at the theater with with Scooter, and there are two boxes, and uh, Scooter is like, um, Kermit, here's that um, here's that that binder costume you wanted for Fozzie, and the boxes are like real manicure and fake binders. And Kermit like shakes his head. It's it's not very good. It's this, this isn't working. But you know what? I've already said it, and I'm not taking it back. <laughs> Fake binders full of women. It's like is this an wow. election wow. joke yeah. from twenty? <laughs> um, Miss Piggy uh isn't seen for a couple days. She's obviously she's having the. Fr- uh, fried manticore sent up to her room and it's like just totally despairing but after a while she after a couple of days she comes down she she emerges and she's in this beautiful like manticore fur cloak oh, yeah. and just like full like ball gown and like long robe and she's like i'm ready for to perform again for me <laughs> it's uh the hood the hood is of course its mouth or yeah, like it's sweet like head, space, yeah. It's head, and so like you can just see its sad eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're made of glass. They're fine. <laughs> Ryan, why have you done this? Uh, hey gang, that was our second Muppets adventure. Next week is gonna be our Muppets finale. We'll bring a special guest on who um, we've def we definitely have locked at the moment <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh. So uh, what what do I need to remind everybody of? Hey, if you have some Bezos bucks you want to uh, throw our way with a subscription, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and given gift subscriptions. That once again, that really does help us keep doing the show. If you're watching on YouTube right now, hey, maybe give us a follow. Once again, that helps. Uh, Follow us on Discord. You can see the link down below wherever you're watching this. And hey, tell your friends that we're here. That would rule word of mouth uh it always helps hey carolyn page where can we find you on the internet hey you can find me at jacuzzi tubs with two b's on all social media platforms and you can also follow the show that i host every night it's a youtube show not every night every wednesday night uh it's a youtube show at the you jokes you the letter you jokes 
uh, YouTube channel. It's called Fuck, Mary Kill Champions. And it's a game show where we pit comedians against each other in a brutal game of Fuck, Mary Kill. And it's a ton of fun. Eli was on our first episode. It's a great time. Please stop by. Hell yeah. Tony Wilson, where can we find you on the internet? Uh, Twitter, at Helpful Tony. Uh, Instagram, at my projects. And um, just wherever. Just wherever that you... was friends of the museum. You're you're you cut out for a second. This guy's that doing what, it's noise. What it is? Noise suppression. Um, you know, just around. I'm where I'm in the smile of a child, or in the sunrise of a gentle <laughs> dawn. Wow, that's uh, pretty cool. Mist- Mr. Eli Uden, where can we find you? Hey, you can find me on Twitter. Just my name, Eli Uden, E-L-I-Y-U-D-I-N. Find me here on Twitch. If you're on Twitch, at pig underscore dog. And you can listen to my podcast that comes out every week with my friends, uh, Kath Barbadora and Patrick Monahan, uh, called What a Time to Be Alive. You can also check out, uh, we just hit one of our Patreon goals. So I'm going to be doing on Twitch a an art show of my fantasy art I drew when I was like 13, which is going <gasps> oh, to be- baby. It's going to be like, I'm going to feel like Carolyn did after that improv. It's going to be, I've done it on stage once and I got like a flop sweat. So doing that, <laughs> um, yeah, check that out. It's an episode every week, an extra one if you subscribe to the Patreon. we got other goals. We're going to eat some spicy nuts. And then if we get to 2,000 patrons, all three of us will be doing the NFL Combine. So there's Amazing. a goal for you. I don't Amazing. know what that is, but when is your art show happening? Uh, we don't have a date set yet. We're going to set it. it uh, you'll, you can listen to the episode this week to find out the date. Um, okay. And the NFL Combine is a series of uh, measurables that they take for people who want to play in the National Football League. So oh. you'll know like my broad jump and my 40-yard 40, 40 dash, stuff like that. I don't know what those are either. And How I fast don't I can dash care. 40 yards. No, I, I don't care, Eli. Go Broncos. Hey, there we go. Uh, I'm Brian as a goblin on Twitter, and I'm Goblin Voice on Twitch. I will probably be there shortly after this, doing something I haven't decided yet. Uh, thank you for hanging out, everybody. This has been TV and D. We'll catch you next time for our Muppets finale. I think. I think that's it. I think that's it. Sounds like it. I think we can go. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. Hey. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>